What happens when you reach the end of FC25 player career? Today we are answering that question. Every time you reach the end of a player career, it's usually very underwhelming. EA just boots you out of the game mode and you end up just going back to the menus. But today we're going to find out if EA has actually updated the end of player career. I'll be simulating a player through 15 seasons and we'll see what happens at the end. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe because there's a lot of FC25 content still to come. Alright, so we've got the player here, Mr. Vapex Karma from Australia. Customizing my player today is not really necessary, it's just going to waste time. I've only got a 10 hour trial anyway, no time to waste here. I have to change the boots because for some reason EA gives you generic ugly looking boots. Out of all the boots in the game that are licensed, why are they giving me the generic ones? There's only one brand of football boots that an elite player should be wearing, and that is Skechers. We're going to put Skecher boots on our guy. I didn't even know Skechers made boots. I thought they were just like walking shoes. Unfortunately, no Bellingham socks in player career mode. We're going to use the head down running style today. This is going to be me running to the game shop when GTA 6 comes out. Things are a little bit different this year. You do have an origin story, but you don't have to pick one of those. You can do a custom start or a clean slate which is what I'm going to do today. And let's make the guy a little bit of a tank. So six foot seven and 191 pounds. There's some new settings as well. So you can choose whether you can be sent out on loan by your club. For this kind of video, I don't think it's necessary. We'll also turn European competitions off here. Not very necessary for today's video. I'm praying that EA has actually updated the ending of player career mode because we've made this kind of video for so many years now and it's the same ending over and over. Surely they've watched the video. They would have done something this year, surely. It's not a good start that we're seeing the same cutscene once again for player career mode. No up Updates here. There's our guy there, Mr. Karma. It's always a pleasure to see junior players growing into a senior team. It's no different for Karma who just joined our ranks. Who gave me the thumbs down? Who is Zafia? Already a negative comment and I haven't even started playing for Manchester United. At least we've got Martin who says shaking with excitement and we've got Arturo that says yeah. We've got our agent Harry here who says good luck my friend, wish you every success, see you at the game soon. Mate, I'm not even going to play a game. I'm just going to collect a paycheck for 15 years and not even play a game. All right, so there's only one thing to do now, and that is to start simming to the end of each season, and I guess we'll come back when it's season 15. It only took one season for Manchester United to get rid of us. I ended up joining Punjab FC, and it's good to see that EA has not updated the career mode transfer cutscene once again this year. So we reached the end of FC 25 player career. This is the last game before I have to retire. And I did have to play a couple matches over the last few months of the season because I needed to get into the starting 11. But let's see if we get any special treatment in the social media section. This is the match day, so the game should recognize that I'm about to play my last game. And so far from what I'm seeing, there's no posts about my upcoming retirement or my last game. I wasn't expecting anything different. I know EA probably has not even worked on this. So don't expect to see anything there if you reach the end of career mode. If you check your negotiations, you won't even get an email from the club. You won't even get a message from anyone else. So the game doesn't even care. And then if you go to your player agent as well, I don't think you'll get a message from them as well. Look at that. So nothing regarding my retirement. My 15 seasons of crew mode have pretty much gone to waste. No one even cares that I'm retiring. The funniest thing I saw is that if we open up the task list, there's actually a retirement gift option for Sing. Singh is another player, another teammate, and we actually have the option to buy him a gift for retiring, but no one buys me a gift. No one even cares that I'm retiring. The game doesn't even care, but we have to buy a gift for another player. Can you believe it? I'll buy him a gift, but let's take a look at my career. We've had quite the journey, five different clubs, one league title, three grand a week wage, and nine million market value, 162 games with 42 goals. 65 wins. We started at Manchester United and then we went to Punjab FC. Then we changed to that club. And then we went to Bengaluru FC. Then we went back to Punjab FC. And then we went to this club again. Then we went to Bengaluru FC again. And then we finished at FC Goa. I've got 87 skill points available. I guess now's the perfect time to actually assign these. So I've boosted the player up for the upcoming retirement match. I will assign two play styles to my player. The first one will be the finesse shot. Then the second one will be maybe a chip shot. You can still choose your target team, even though you're about to retire. So you can pick a different club and the agent will still recommend clubs to you. I don't know why. It's not like we can play on after this. So let's play our last game. This is the retirement match. We're in the starting 11. Let's see if we get any special cutscenes or anything like that. All right, so you get like this quick intro, nothing about your retirement, and then you get your match objectives. All right, so no special cutscenes before the game. Looks like the game doesn't even recognize your retirement match. You get no special treatment. You've spent so many hours trying to get your player crew mode finished. And the game doesn't even care. Here's a chance for Karma. Turns one. Has a hit. And it just goes over the bar. Here's Karma on the ball. Can he score? Yes, he can. In his retirement match. 
Here we go. Here's a good chance. Oh, off the top of the bar. And we survived that. We've got to win our last game. And we've reached the end of our career. Let's see if anything happens. I'm not expecting anything. I don't think EA's worked on this. A little bit of a cutscene here, maybe. A few people coming to shake my hand. Maybe because I scored the winning goal. Yeah, it doesn't really look like too much of a send-off. Just looks like your standard post-game cutscene. And we run straight off the field. No interviews. No hugs with the manager. No clapping the fans. That's it. That was your retirement match in FC25 player career. They haven't worked on this at all. Okay, nothing as well after the game. You get your standard menu. I would love to see something special after your last match. But the game doesn't even recognize it. The game doesn't even care. I wonder how many people actually make it to the last day in career mode anyway. After the game, you're in the locker room. And uh, in this case, we picked up the men of the match. But yeah, there's no special cutscenes, nothing. Just standard stuff. So after the game, there's no messages from anyone. So I guess we'll just have to keep advancing here. So we've reached the end and there's nothing else we can do besides read the social media feed. No mention of my retirement, my final game, nothing like that. So what a waste of time that is. Let's click end season and let's see what happens. Okay, we've got an email from the board about our retirement. It says, we understand you're planning to retire at the end of the season. We wanted to place on record our thanks for all that you've achieved during your time at the club. We plan to arrange a gala dinner. Wow, a gala dinner for the whole squad after the last game of the current campaign. We'll hope to celebrate all the great games you've played for us and recognize the pleasure your performances have given to everyone connected with the club. That's all you get. A gala dinner that you won't even see because the game doesn't even have the cutscene of the gala dinner. EA has not improved this experience. It's the same thing every year. The only thing you can do is basically advance and check your career summary as well, which we already did earlier in the video. We should have been able to get a cutscene of the gala dinner at least. That would have felt a little bit more special. Let's see what we can do after this. We click advance. And that's basically it. The game just boots you out and takes you back to the home menu. You can't even be a manager in manager career mode. They don't even give you the option to choose a club to manage. And we're only 33 as well. Why did I have to even retire? So if you're bothered to reach the end of player career mode and you want to be a manager, you have to retire on the 29th of June. You can't go to the 30th because the game will just boot you out into the home menu. They won't even give you the option to do a manager career. So on the 29th, you just have to retire your player manually. So you can go here, press the triangle, confirm your retirement, and the game will give you job offers for manager career. I don't know why it's like that. EA never bothers to fix it, but it's just something to be mindful of if you ever reach this stage and you want to be a manager after your player career. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and remember to subscribe and hit the thumbnail in the middle to watch another FC25 video.